You guys know that I love Pope Francis. I think Pope Francis is awesome sauce. And he just doesn't, he does nothing that he does that doesn't like amaze me. And I'm not even Catholic. I would never convert to Catholicism because I think their like rituals are just really too much for me. But if you're Catholic, you should love this Pope. He spoke out against the destruction of the rainforest this past weekend, calling the destruction of the rainforest and deforestation a sin and asking his fellow Catholics to respect God's creation. Wow. Like, that's some powerful stuff. For, that's like a real, some real powerful-ish right there. Like, this guy says, if you're deforesting our, our world, you are destroying some of God's greatest creations and that is a sin like where was this guy like 30 or 40 or 50 years ago when they were pillaging the rainforest or when they were you know when they started hydro fracking or when they started drilling in you know in the ocean like i mean where was this guy like where was this guy who literally america should be when he, if once he's not when he's no longer the pope when he when he dies or if he decides to resign he should be like canonized and like put into sainthood because this pope is really breaking down barriers. And you know what? He's speaking truth to power, which is something you don't see. People are afraid of the political pressure. They're afraid of what is this person going to say? What's that cardinal going to say? What's the people going to say? This pope is unapologetic, which is why I like him so much. And if you really, really, really take the moment out to study the life of Christ, right? And I think anybody who believes in Christianity believes you should be in Christ -like, Christ's likeness. This Pope is really in the likeness of Christ because Jesus was unapologetic. If you look at most of the writing and read in the Bible, Jesus spent more time condemning the Pharisees and anybody who knows anything about biblical history. The Pharisees were those that were the most religious of them all. The religious sect, the group of religious scholars. And he said, y'all are the problem because you've let religion blind you from reality. Right? And the people who he loved the most were those that were poor, those that were disabled, and his, one of his greatest friends, Mary Magdalene, the prostitute. Or if you look at the Bible, we talk about Rahab, another prostitute who, who was Jesus' great, 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 great grandmother. And it's because to be in Christ's like doesn't mean that you're perfect, or to be in Christ's like doesn't mean that you read a Bible and you just regurgitate the Bible scriptures over again. Being in Christ's likeness is a way of living. It's being unapologetically unapolog righteous, and being unapologetically true, and being unapologetically real, right? And being unapologetically loving, and loving your neighbor as yourself, which is the biggest, the, the best, the, 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 the most powerful, and the, the, the biggest commandment there is. And that is what this Pope represents. And hopefully, we will see this Pope transform the Catholic Church to a place where people will actually want to go and want to be a part of it. Because of this ideal that it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how you look, it doesn't matter where you came from, because God loves you unapologetically. And I think that's part of the problem that I think we face in the modern society and modern evangelical Christianity is this ideal that God's love is somehow conditional. And it's based on if you didn't drink last night, or it's based on who you sleep with, or it's based upon who you're not sleeping with, or it's based upon how many times you attend church, or how much money you put in the offering plate. But God's love is unapologetically good, unapologetically real. Think about it. When he, was, when he died on the cross, those who believe, those, this is for all the believers out there, right? Like when he died on the cross, he took the two guys next to him who were both thieves. Who he, just, he just met them. He didn't know them from Adam. But he was unapologetically loving. And that is what makes his Pope so awesome, because he even loves the rainforest. Gotta love him. Viva la Papa.